You don't hear much about Larry Demery these days. In fact, most young baseball fans probably don't even know who he is. But Demery was a key part of some outstanding Pittsburgh Pirates teams who won two division titles and 368 games during his four-year run with the team from 1974 through 1977. And Demery was no bit player during those years either, serving as a solid righty swingman who lodged 46 starts among his 139 appearances, also finished 38 games and saving seven. During that span, Demery put up a decent 3.72 ERA, though things got a bit ugly for him in the 1974 and 1975 NLCS, 24.00 ERA in three innings over three appearances. Still, the fact remains that the Bucks likely wouldn't have won as many games without the young Demery in the fold. Unfortunately for Demery, his 5.08 ERA in 1977 landed him back in AAA and even AA in 1978 for the first time since 1974. Things got even stickier down on the farm, and Demery slid to single A while his former teammates were pulling off their We Are Family theatrics on the way to the World Series title in 1979. He pitched just two more games in the Atlanta Braves system in 1980, and then he was done in the pros at age 27. But during his time in Pittsburgh, Demery picked up some pretty sweet cardboard credentials, including cards in the 1975, 1976, and 1977 top sets. The icing on top of the hobby cake, though, and a career capper to boot, is Demery's 1978 Topps card. That beauty shows him in Pittsburgh home pinstripes with that glorious old Pirates pillbox hat, and posed in his set stance in front of a lush green spring training field, and some teammates sprinting by way out in the outfield. It's a lost gem of a card for an often forgotten gem of a player, who was right there in the thick of things as the young Pirates team was coming of age. Like our video? Then like our videos and subscribe to our channel. WaxPackGods.com